hello guys welcome to our new video and in this video we are going to learn about the lambda functions and how we will create the lambda functions and we will learn more about the serverless.yml file and we will learn about the event so i'm talking about this event what is the use of this event in every functions so all these things we are going to learn in this video so let's just start now what we have to do we have to just create for creating any function or a lambda function or if you want to invoke that function what you have what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a new folder or directory i'll put the name as source in that folder i'm going to name one another folder and i'll put the name that will be jobs in that jobs folder i'm going to create a file and i'll put name as api.js so fine so we have created one folder in that folder there is one more folder that is jobs in that folder there is in file which is api.js so we are going to write our first code and we are going to create our first lambda function so now what we have to do if you are going to create any function so make sure you are exporting that function because as you know we have to configure those functions and we have to write about those functions here and we have to give the path so how the serverless.yml file will see where this function is so for that you have to export uh, uh, you know after creating this function so for exporting those functions so what i have to write i have to write module dot exports now you have to put the name you have to write a name so you can write any name so i'm just going to write a name handler and i'm going to create a async es6 function and i'll pass an argument which will be event fine and now i'm going to add arrow and here we go so now we have created one function so now i'm going to send a response to this function so let's suppose uh, we are just going to create a response variable in that variable we there will be one object and this object will have the properties of status code so we are sending status code of 200 and then we are sending the message which will be and make sure before sending this message this should be in the json stringify because as I already told you, whenever you are hitting an API or when, whenever you, you are going to invoke any function, the outcome message should be in the JSON format only. So I'm just going to convert this JavaScript object note, uh, JavaScript object to the JSON format. So I'll write JSON.stringify and I'll write message here. So I'm just going to write hello world. Fine now after this object i am going to throw one more message and that will be event so this event will will have event and okay now once i i have created a response object i have to return this from the function which will be return response right so whenever i'll invoke this function this will return this response and this response has the properties which is object okay so let's just jump to the terminal and in the terminal what we are going to write for invoking those functions so before invoking those functions i already told you you have to configure in your serverless.yml file because until you won't configure in serverless.yml file that function is not going to invoke so let's jump to the serverless.yml file in yml file what we have to do as you know this is the parent function in that function we, we have to write our function name so i'll just put a new function i'm just writing the name and then i have to pass the handler path which will be src after that jobs and after that api api dot handler make sure if you're connecting the file and to the function so there will be dot between that you cannot add slash right so as we can see here after uh, you know giving the path through this uh, folders uh, you know uh, these nested folders we are just giving this src slash jobs slash api but this is this handler is a function 
so there will be dot in between this api and handler after we will save this and we will jump to our terminal now what we have to write here we are going to write the same as we already used to invoke a function that will be sls invoke function which will be new api sorry new function let's check okay so okay i haven't add local because i'm invoking it local so i have to add local then function and the new function which is the function name this this function name is this function name so i'll just put enter here uh how okay i was getting some kind of uh, issue uh, in my computer that 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 is why i, I was getting this error so what we were doing so we are we are going to invoke that function so for invoking that function so we have to write sls invoke local function and then function name so here we go so now we have the message that is 200 and the message is hello world that we have written in this function so now we have learned how to create a function uh, or a lambda function in the serverless right and how can we uh, configure this function into the serverless.yml file now uh, we will learn about the event so what exactly event is so in this event you will be receiving all the messages let's suppose if you an api and this api you are going to hit from the postman right so from the postman if you are going to hit that uh, api so whatever the body data or the file data or the you know the id and everything the software details even all those details will come in this event and you will catch those de details from this event and then you are going to work with those details so now uh, let's suppose and apart from this if you have any kind of con configuration that you want to do with the amazon s3 or any kind of service provider uh, services so you can just configure this uh, into the event.json file so you can just create any json file so i'm just going to create here one json file that will be event.json file and i'll just create an object in that object i'll put name and in name i'll write amit xcode okay and then i'll i'm going to just write pro, uh, project serverless okay so now we have created one one event.json file and now let's see what we are receiving through this event so i'll just create and one more variable into the object one more properties and we are going to add this event this event now let's just invoke this event.json and the serverless.yml file so what will happen let me just tell you uh, we are going to write the same command as we have written before the local function and the function name now just we have to add the path of that json file so the path is root that is even dot json file okay i was giving the wrong command so the right command is sls invoke local f that is new function and p and the event file dot json file so what i was doing wrong i was just uh, writing the different name as we have created for the different name for the function so now this is right and we are going to invoke this function okay boom so now we have received the status code the message and the input value and in input input value we have received the event data so now hope so now hope you are clear about what exactly this event.json does and what exactly this event.json is 
so from this event we are going to receive all those json data from the event.json or if you are hitting through the api so we are going to receive all those api details from this event only so i hope guys you have learned about how to create a lambda function in serverless and what exactly event is in coming videos we are going to learn about the api gateway then more uh, we are going to do the curd operations to, through these lambda functions we are going to build and rest api and everything we are going to do in the upcoming videos so just be patient and be have with thank you so much